a history of performance in 20 minutes conference. Let's attempt a history of the body in art as a history of silence as opposed to discourse about art. Let's take performance out of its historical environment. Let's simply show how the history of art has, at a certain moment, and for some people, engendered gestures and not objects, and certainly not discourse. Mime artist, showing, indicating, signaling. It's no longer time for speech, but time for action. So now, shut up. Keep it zipped. Don't say anything anymore. Don't read anything anymore. Everything is to be done, and yet, nothing. Imagine if John Cage's 4 minutes 33 seconds was not silenced as an absolute form of music. But instead, I'm not copying anymore. Now, I am showing. So, the anti-conceptual attitude opposed discourse with silence. Enough chit chat. Don't use gesture alongside speech, but instead as a retort. Violence, then, end of conversation. Body art and performance, the dumb face of art. Illiterate and dogged, autistic, the bearers in the trees. Memories. It wasn't about going further or about provocation. It was a celebration of the present moment. Immediacy. Immediacy. Literally, no more mediation. Perhaps right there is where the greatest subversion lies. The last throw of art is to no longer have an object. Because no matter what, no matter what object rather than no object. The greatest subversion is not to leave a trace. It's you arrive too late, not even a mise en scène. A precarious gesture, instantaneous. It's Nothing more to show. Already over. The culture of performance is what is not left over, even when you remember everything. Did it even happen? Not even sure. Look at this way, in a purely formal fashion, the history of performance or of body art is not then a history of the representation of the body, but exclusively a history of gesture. Barely sketched, already expired. Let's try then a history of performance in 10 gestures and 30 figures. It could go like this, perhaps. First, inaugural gesture, appearing. Simply being there. I don't hide behind my work anymore. So, this is me, straight like an eye, chin slightly raised, little smile, here I am, I am fine, I am affirming my positive subjectivity. Bob Morris, iBox, 1962. Or, perhaps, Appearance again. Bruce Nauman. Enough talk. Enough gloss. Now I'm going to show you something. First, space. Well, it's obvious. Start from the beginning again. We learn the fundamental gestures. Here are the limits of my universe the universe of the artist. I can pace the square of my studio. It is voluntary confinement, but I resist. I walk 
therefore I am. Appearance as simply being. Slow Angle Walk, Beckett Walk, 1968. But watch out. To appear is also and immediately to become a potential target. So you need to move, otherwise someone might shoot at you. Second gesture then, we see. You. On November 19th, 1971, Chris Burden stood up in a gallery in Santa Ana in California. Stood up in front of a gun, a movie camera, and a photographic camera. There the shot. The bullet goes through his arm. Arc. Radical performance. The suicide gesture. Burden is thus immobile, determined. The outcome is inevitable. Shoot. 1971, inescapable, it's I don't fight. But the most disturbing is not that, because with burden, it's anti-suspense. You say to yourself, perhaps he's not going to do it, but yes, he's capable. Finally, it's an exercise of virility. I fight against the pain. I am strong. The will to power and the superman. I shot myself but stay alive. Nietzsche. Chris Berlin eats health. And the worst thing is illness. The most disturbing then is not Chris Berlin. It's Below a country. The most shocking are those bullets. There are tennis balls. The artist receives them blindfold and he tries to catch them or avoid them. Blindfold catching, 1970. With Butler, it's the firing squad. With a country, it's torture. Mental and physical torture. The worst humiliation is a useless gesture. True danger lies in the invisible. The true enemy is invisible. Eyes blindfolded, a country is paradoxically the most visionary. Eyes blindfolded, pitch black. So there was a night, there was a morning, third gesture, holding back, another strategy, resisting, a history of performance as an illustration of the relation of submission to exterior forces. But this resistance has its limits, always, those of the body. So this body which is holding back is stout, rigid, in combat. But this stout, rigid, combating body will never win. <coughs> and its resistance will be heroic or grotesque. Heroic photograph of a body suspended above a void. That of Denis Oppenheim, making a human bridge between two brick walls. <coughs> Extended, spread out, forming an angle with his body. Immediacy and the temptation of the void. Drawn to the earth but resisting. They can just be for falling, before foundering, at the moment of the greatest tension. Rotted in loss but also in combat, leaning toward the abyss like a gargoyle. Parallel stress, 1970. 